So on Mondays, I only have one day long class. It's my illustration thesis class where we are doing a few things all at the same time. The first thing is like, I think maybe six illustrations and I think we're doing them in groups of two. So right now I'm working on the first two and then we are also working on our thesis book, which is gonna be a collection of everything we've done in the last four years of college. So I'm collecting all my pieces that I've done and I've also decided to do a few collages for my thesis because I want it to be nice and cute and fun. For the first half of class, we work on our illustrations and I went with something relatively simple, but I'm doing it in a more lineless rendered style. And then I'm not even close to being done on my second one, but that's pretty much what I worked on for the entire class. So on Tuesday is when I have all of my non-major classes. So that's accessory design and embroidery class. For my accessory design class, right now we're making bags and then we're gonna make belts and shoes, which I'm really excited about. But for the bags, they are leather handbags, I think. Well, I'm making like a messenger bag and I think the pattern making itself took like six hours total because I was just having such a hard time with the measurements and cutting out the leather to match the pattern I made. It was definitely a really new and interesting experience. After dinner, I have my embroidery class, which is just like a really fun, light-hearted class. And so I'm having a really good time. I wish it didn't end so late because it's a night class. So by the time the class is winding down, I'm like, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. I need to go home. But besides that, I really like my embroidery class. We should support this on a different lens, and we can break up the problem. Hey everyone, class is over. I'm the only one here, which is why I'm talking to you. But the door is open, so I'm still feeling a little awkward, but that's not the point. It's Wednesday. I haven't really talked while vlogging, and I've also... I haven't really vlogged, like, that intensely, because we've just kind of been doing studio time for a lot of my classes. And today we kind of did, like, a little mini critique on, like, a small assignment we had for this class. And I didn't really get much done. I hate to say it, I didn't get much done. I'm not really working on this assignment. I was trying to just make a little personal piece, but I can't come up with anything. I don't know, I'm feeling a little stumped. 
It's also quite a busy week. I have my market on Saturday, and then tomorrow I have to go to Michael's with Ariel to get some supplies for my embroidery class and then some paint for the cardboard cutout that I'm gonna make. It's my second one. So after I got home, I worked a little bit more on my embroidery stuff before dinner, and then after dinner, I actually had a therapy, and I used BetterHelp, who kindly sponsored today's video. But I've been using BetterHelp for a really long time because they have so many therapists, and they make it so easy to find one that matches your needs and switch to a new one if you have to. I think work-wise, this has been one of my less heavy semesters, but the impending doom of graduation definitely overpowers any sense of excitement that I could have. So having someone to talk to has been really helpful for me, and I really love the fact that I can do it from my couch. I don't have to go anywhere especially because I get home so late. Like I just wouldn't have time to go to therapy. Like I barely even have time to go grocery shopping. So the fact that BetterHelp lets you do either video calls or messaging or phone calls is really convenient. And if therapy is something that you want to try, you can get 10% off your first month if you use my code, which is betterhelp.com slash sunshell. That's better H-E-L-P.com. And that is pretty much how I ended that day. <laughs> oh look, little magnets. Oh, what are we looking for again? Oh, look, little bird house. Oh, <gasps> clay. Oh, I love clay. Oh, wait, are they sold out? <laughs> what? Can you teach me how to crochet? Yeah. I found the wooden panels I was looking for. I wonder what size of this should we get. I was also thinking of painting birdhouses, but not these like bigger ones. These are quite small, but I've been really into the idea of painting birdhouses lately. None of these are wool. Go to Blick tomorrow. <laughs> you can pull it away. That's a good job. Okay, while my water for my tea is boiling, I will show you what I got from Michael's. I got these two bigger like wood panels because they're kind of fun to paint on and I'm going to try gouache with them because I feel like it'll absorb onto the wood very nicely. I think the gouache will work nicely on here too. I mean obviously acrylic will also work but I've just been wanting to try out some gouache. These are almost four by four basically. That doesn't make sense because they're rectangles but that's what it says. So that's that's weird. I guess they're lying. But that's what it says. These embroidery floss guys for class. Some air dry clay because I ran out. This is terracotta colored apparently. I wanted it in white, but whatever. I didn't notice that this wasn't white. I was also thinking of getting resin, but resin is just so complicated and I don't want to deal with it. But at least I got this clay. A new painting thingy. This is just like the basic cheap paints that I use.
So this market was my second market I've ever hosted, I think, and I'm planning my third one right now. I want to make a lot of changes to my booth specifically at markets. Here you can see I tried a lot of new things, like I made some sticker packs and I was really confused and I tried my best. And I upgraded my setup a little bit, but I want to upgrade it again and make some better signage. And I also actually made another sticker pack recently that I haven't really posted about yet. But I've been really into stickers lately. I've been getting so many sticker sheets that I have nothing to do with and no one's buying them. But I just love making them so much. I can't help it. So I have to have a third market so I can display all of my new amazing sticker sheets and sticker packs. And I'm currently still looking for a venue. I've been posting a lot about how everything is going, like prepping for the market and everything on my Patreon. Yeah, it's still a work in progress, but I'm really excited to host my third market because my second market had a lot of RSVPs, but it ended up raining that day which really sucked, but we did get a really nice turnout and I was really excited about it. So I'm hoping my third one will be even more exciting, especially now that it's almost spring. So my stapler stopped working, so I guess this is as many as I'm going to make, which is like six, which is fine, I guess. I didn't make these entirely correctly. Next time I have to make the little paper thing a little bit bigger and I have to get a better stapler that isn't like a little stapler from Daiso because this just doesn't it's just not stapling anymore but yeah this is really fun I've been really into graphic design lately can you tell look how small this one is versus this really big one this is ridiculous I love them Currently trying to figure out my market setup. Oh, I almost forgot this. Oh, hello. I have this funny little thing. Let's just let's just put that somewhere. I have to make space for these new little guys. I wish I got to make more, but my stapler broke. Stickers. These things. What is this? I don't know what this is. And all I ever do 